Rice King. Ah, is BK Rice good? Can they make good rice? Oh, another fun food video where I copy Keith from Try Guys because we're running out of ideas during this pandemic. We've done a couple of these videos already. We ate everything from McDonald's in Vietnam. We ate everything from KFC in Vietnam. And today, it's all about Burger King. I've been a fan of Burger King for a long time. If I had to choose between a Big Mac or a Whopper, I'm a Whopper guy all day. But what about Burger King in Asia? Well here, they have a menu completely different from the USA. So I've got the website pulled up here. They have broken down their menu into different categories. First, something that I don't think you'll see in the USA, which I'm surprised about. Do you guys have fried chicken? Cause I don't think you do. Here, chicken crispy, chicken flamin', chicken barbecue, and then different combinations of those. So that's the first huge difference you'll see in Asia, in Vietnam at least, plenty of fried chicken on the menu. Turns out, no one cares about chickens. Even all the religious of the world. Whether you're Muslim, Jewish, Christian, atheist, we can all agree. If you're getting into pork or beef, we might have some arguments, but chicken. Chicken is the one food, the one animal. We can all hold hands, unite, and agree. We don't care if billions of you die each year. Mm. Rice King. Ah, a play on Burger King. This is great. This is what I like to see. For example, they literally have taken the patty from a burger, put it on top of rice, and they put two chicken nuggets on this side. This is what I love. They're like, I don't know, you guys like rice, all right? I, here's rice. Next, let's check out Happy Snacks. Oh, cheese sticks. I think there might be cheese sticks in the USA. I can't remember. But this, cheese ring snack. It looks like it's about 500 calories. I must have that in my body. Let's move on to burger. Cheese ring burger. It's a giant disc or ring of fried cheese with onion on top, then you can get one with beef, and then you can get one with even more beef. Moving down, Extreme Cheesy Whopper. The graphics, they've gone crazy with it. There's cheese literally sputtering from everywhere. What I love is on the side, they're like, put more crap on there. Do what you want, it's your body. Add bacon, cheese, Whopper patty, cheese sauce. So you could technically get this from about a $5 burger to an $8 burger. Oh, this is a crunchy cheesy burger. So they have mixed the cheese and the potato chips and put both of those items on one burger. It keeps going on and on but these are all just different combinations of essentially the same thing. Obviously, all these burgers are including the fried cheese ring. Oh, I gotta say, I gotta call Burger King out. There is a burger chain that did the fried cheese disc well before Burger King. It is one of the worst burger fast food chains in the world. They're called Loteria. I think it's a Korean burger chain. It's, um, this is the second channel, right? Yeah, it's just awful. But the only good thing I've ever seen to come out of Loteria is this fried cheese disc. So that's something I used to eat when I was in Korea. So it looks like Burger King has taken some inspiration, the same way I took inspiration from Keith of the Try Guys. So check out that promotion. Oh, do you speak Vietnamese? If you mua one, you tang one. Mm. I think that means buy one, get one. Is that right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna move a one and tang one right now. I'm gonna get about 10 or 11 different unique items and they're gonna be here in about 25 minutes later. All the food is here. I'm not trying to eat everything on the menu. I'm just trying to pick out some of the things that are most unique to me. Ordinarily, my dog would join me for one of these videos, but I had to put her down for a nap. So I think she's sleeping right now. Yeah. So let's start with kind of the least interesting thing and then build up. French fries, these are actually still warm and they seem decent. Oh, no, nope, my bad, not decent. Cooled down a lot. And I feel bad judging it because it's not meant to be eaten this way, but they did not travel well. Something you should really know, in Vietnam, these are not ketchup packets, these are chili sauce packets. In Vietnam, folks absolutely love chili sauce. Somebody in Vietnam would honestly not be afraid to put chili sauce on an A5 Wagyu steak. They love it that much, it goes with everything. Yes, they did give me a couple ketchup packets, but most of this is chili sauce. And let's toss that. <laughs> Not bad. I'm not the biggest chili sauce fan. It's sweet, it's salty, and I do actually prefer ketchup, but it jazzes it up in a way. Okay, so that is french fries. Am I rating these? Did I rate these last time? Three out of 10. Moving on to, what was this? Ah, nuggies. Also not crazy. Mm-hmm, crispy on the outside. It got a little bit soggy, but that's not their fault. Very peppery, which you like to see. You guys are all familiar with the chicken nuggets, but I'm not sure. In the US, do they have these? I mean, this is just actual pieces of fried chicken. That looks nice. That is very satisfying. <laughs> it's juicy, it's tender, it's a little bit of spice on it. The only problem is, as with all fast food, it is over salted like crazy. Chicken wings, I give those an eight out of 10. Since we are on a roll with fried items, it is a dainty cheese stick, small in stature. It is a shower, not a grower. Mm -hmm. Cheesy, juicy, and just a crap load of grease. I think two is the right amount of those because too many of those, you're gonna feel it in your heart. You're actually gonna feel your heart slow down. 
They taste good in the moment, and then I just feel so terribly bad afterwards. I gotta give them five out of 10. Now we have a boatload of burgers over here. We're gonna jump into the burgers as far as I can see, they're not properly labeled. It says Whopper Jr. with cheese, and then there's an X on it. So maybe it's not that? Like, I don't know your Burger King code, guys. Oh no, this is something cheesy. This is one of the cheesy burgers. Let's take a look inside it. I have no idea what that is. It looks like a cheeseburger with extra cheese. Hmm? I don't know what you are. It's a cheeseburger doused in this orangey sauce. So I don't know what that orangey sauce is supposed to be. It's a little spicy, very salty. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Okay, cheeseburger thing with bad sauce. I give it a four out of 10. It didn't make me happy. I'm gonna wash that down with a little bit of Milo. Chocolate milk with ice in it. Let's do another burger. This one is also labeled as a Whopper Junior and then they have more code language. I don't think, do they think I know what this means? What does that say? Literally everybody who orders from Burger King here has to open it and look under the bun to get an idea of what the heck is in there. So this, oh, it's a chip burger. The potato chip, it almost looks like a kettle chip. It looks very crispy. And I think it is all about the texture here. Now I love chip sandwiches. When I was a kid, I would sometimes just put butter on bread and put potato chips in there, slam it, crunch it and eat it. And the texture was awesome. Even though it was just, you know, nonstop carbs and fat. It's a bit crunchy, it is tough. They're putting the chips right next to tomato, right next to lettuce. These are wet items. I think a better build would have been put the chips on the bottom between the bread and the beef. Six out of 10. Right here, this one says fish, but is it really fish? Pop the cap, that is, oh, that is fish actually. What I like here is that the fish is like a perfect little square on a circle bun. Then here, they've slathered a little bit of mayo a comforting crunch. The edges of, of this little fish disc are super fried, super crispy. There's a lot of texture there. Mm -hmm. A pretty decent fried little fish patty with some nice soft bread. So for the fish burger, 6.2 out of 10. Let's take a burger break and head over to here. This is nice. It's kind of like a barbecue burger without the bun. Instead, they just put a big pile of rice in the middle. All of that is covered with mayo, I believe. They're kind of pretending like this is gum tam. In Vietnam, when you eat broken rice, it usually has a pork steak that goes with it. I think they're trying to create that visual because it's something familiar to Vietnamese people. Let's jump into it. A pickle. Okay, a lone tomato. Mm-hmm, try some of this rice. That's pretty good. It tastes like some kind of local rice too. Here's a real start. You're supposed to be mixing in this hamburger and the sauce from the hamburger. That is surprisingly satisfying. I mean, the patty is nothing special. It's just a burger patty, but it goes pretty good with the rice. Mm. I think I would have to give it a 7.5 out of 10. So far, I am not blown away by anything here, which actually makes me sad because I really do like Burger King. I feel bad because I think if they knew that all their food was going to be on a show today, if they knew this was going to be kind of a quality test that thousands of people would see, they would have tried a little harder. Let's move on to this right here. This is the tender crisp. Mm -hmm. ah, okay, another, what is up with these tomatoes? They are definitely saving a lot of money on their tomato budget. And I don't like that. Look, you get one more tomato, you copy, you paste, you put it right here. What are you doing? Maybe it needs to be eaten a little bit fresher. It's a little crispy on the outside, definitely tender and juicy on the inside. They nailed that part and actually pretty spicy, a lot spicier than I expected. This is a chicken burger with a little bit more bite, a little bit more attitude. This just says hamburger. I have no idea what to expect. Oh, is that the cheese ring? Okay, so this right here is the cheese ring burger. This is technically vegetarian, I think, right? Huh? I wonder how much money they're saving by not filling in that center part. Oh. Oh no, oh no, it's kind of sh It tastes like cream cheese, not like fried mozzarella cheese. Oh, this is an absolute disaster. Listen, you're looking at someone right now with no standards. My favorite pizza chain is Pizza Hut. This cheese ring, it sucks. It's not even cheesy, it's just like creamy. It's like I just might as well eat a tub of sour cream. I think they really f this up. I gotta say, Loteria is slam dunking on Burger King right now. I gotta give this a one out of 10. Oh, that's heartbreaking. Why? But who would like that? There goes my chance of ever being sponsored by Burger King, but I gotta stand up for what's right, you know? It's not always about money. Sometimes it's about pride. And also this video will get views. Final burger. Again, I don't know what it is. <sighs> Potato chips are getting a little bit soggy at this point. There is that nightmarish blaze orange sauce that literally tastes like the definition of processed foods. And there is some wimpy lettuce. A little bit of a crunch. Mm-hmm. Very similar to what I had already. It's offering a little bit of a crunch. I really like the chip idea. I can't figure out why they don't put more chips in there so you get more crunch. So for this one, three out of 10. <sighs> 
in full now. So that is a lot of what's unique about the menu here in Vietnam from Burger King. My overall feelings, a little bit of sadness and disappointment and a little bit of postpartum depression. I like that Burger King is taking chances. I like that they're pushing the envelope and they're trying to almost change and innovate on what a burger is. They're adding chips. They're adding grotesque cheese discs. But in the end, did those innovations pay off? At least for this food reviewer, I say, not really. I think Burger King has a long way to go in Vietnam if they're gonna be competitive. And I have a hard time imagining anybody would like that cheese thing. So that is all the most interesting and fun, unique food from Burger King in Asia, or at least in Vietnam, because that's where I am. Guys, thank you so much for watching. That is it for today. I will see you next time. A Peace.